Hey y'all, my name is Imara, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and today I'm gonna be doing a wear test for Minted New Perfect Prime Primer. Very excited about their new product. So today I'm gonna be doing my makeup, I'm gonna use the primer, and we're just going to check in throughout the day to see if this primer is really giving what it's supposed to get. So, let go. So let's get into the claim. This primer retails for $28. This solid primer stick is blurring, mattifying, and controls shine and minimizes the appearance of pores. It's also fragrance-free, vegan, and cruelty-free, so we love that. So let's get into trying on this primer. I'm only going to apply it on one side of my face so you guys can truly see the difference. And as for me, I really get oily in my cheek area, my T-zone area, so I decided to apply this primer to those areas. Now I'm going to do a quick beat to my face and I will make sure to put all products down below. They are all from Minted Cosmetics. All right, you guys, so I just got done doing my makeup. It's 12.55 noon, so it looks super good, but you know, it's gonna look good on both sides, obviously. We're not gonna see if the claims are actually working as of yet. Um, so what I'm gonna do is check in throughout the day, and today I'm gonna be working, working, because right now I'm working on just unpacking certain things in my new apartment, so I'm really, really gonna be out here moving things. So we're gonna see if this primer works. I'll check in later. All right, y'all, so it is a little bit after three. I believe so, a little after three. Um, so basically, I'm looking at both sides and I'm looking at my, my view finder. So if I look like I'm looking up, that's why. So it seems like, you know, when it comes down to the oil, I definitely see it more oily on this side. Not, you know, crazy oily, but some oils are starting to peek through on this side much more versus this side. Um, and this is a side, of course, where I did put the primer. Um, so it's so far it's doing good. My forehead is not as shiny, which it usually is. And um, yeah, but I think that you can really see it within the T-zone area, but I still got a lot to do. Gonna go home and cook and do some things around my house, maybe pack a little bit more in my old apartment. So I'll check in later. So hey guys, I've been running around, unboxing, literally cook dinners in the oven now. So I've been wearing this primer literally all day. So like I said, I really get oily in my T-zone. Here in this area, I usually get really, really oily. So I can definitely see the difference here once again. We saw that earlier when I did my first check-in. For my skin, for oils, they really come out around here. So yeah, y'all, like for hours of wearing this primer, I do feel like it lives up to all its claims. It was definitely mattifying for sure um, throughout majority of the day. I did notice that it's not as mattifying, but it's not oily on this side. I don't mind a little texture showing through at all. It just means that we're human, we have skin, um, and we have texture, and that's okay. Um, so it looks pretty good on this side. Um, on this side where I did not apply the perfect primer, um, it is a little bit oily in this T-zone, but in on this side, I do see that it's still held up pretty, pretty good, where I'm not seeing that shine where I see on this side. So, yeah, y'all, I will be trying this primer definitely in the hotter weather, especially that springtime is coming up. I can't wait to just continue to wear this primer because obviously it lives up to the claim. All right, y'all, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.